Hey guys, it's Corey here. I uh, just thought I'd uh, do up a quick demo of, uh, of my website that I'm creating right now, Overnight Software Developers. And uh, I, I demoed it today there, so I'm just going to do a quick demo here, or try to do a quick demo here. Um, it's quite a big website. It's got a uh, chatbot feature on the front, offers our services and so on, um, like whether it's web development, mobile apps, desktop apps, and so on and uh, integrating with the latest AI technology and uh, you know you got your contact information that I got all fill in still but uh, I just thought I'd kind of quickly go over the uh, features of the website what we're focusing in on all the different services whether you're transportation healthcare food hospitality education and so on um, you know we got we got all these little features here and then also we got a uh, 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 developer portal, which is like where you can log into a social media website for developers so that they can learn and integrate and, and, and so on there. There's partners, there's cl a client portal. So the partners are the, the contractors, the client portal is for customers and they can get a quote as well. And um, you can see here that they can manually fill out a quote form go through the form, fill out uh, the different um, inputs into the form, how fast they want it, how much their budget is, all sorts of stuff like that, what file they want to upload if they have a PRD, uh, and so on. So that's the client portal, and then there's also a partner portal for contractors, where if we have a job already, um, that we can look for other software developers to partner with on jobs. And then there's developers where they could network and so on. And then you got this feature here where you got a chat feature with a microphone and so on, and some buttons, and you could say anything you want. So, what is an overnight? Uh, what is the modern day? Overnight. Let's see if it even knows. I actually never asked this question to AI. Uh, so I've integrated with uh, the Gemini API here. So it's Google's API. And uh, just going to see what its answer will be here to output for this uh, question. So um, obviously, like I learned overnight, so that's why I titled it Overnight Software Developers. Uh, it's not a formal job title, but a modern day piece of industry slang with two primary and very different meanings. It generally describes a perception or situ situation rather than a role, and here's a breakdown of its modern meanings. The miracle newcomer, this is the most common interpretation <laughs> refers to the perception that someone has become confident. Anyways, I don't want to get into the details right now. I just thought I'd kind of demo that it answered that question with AI. <coughs> now, this is the uh, user interface for the website right now. It's got a bunch of buttons here that you can utilize, and all of them are working, and so on. If you want to start a post and t write about it, you can do it here. You can use the microphone to talk, as you can see right now, and it will input the text. Yeah, there you go. So it will add media. So if you have a file, a recording, of some kind you got the thumbnail generator you got you can use you use a spot in the video or you can upload an image and you can see right here if I choose this thumbnail and it should overlay oh I forgot to turn off the microphone here so testing video And uh, you know what else we got here? I'll show you is a transcribe function here. So this transcriber, what it does is it actually is a tool that transcribes the audio and, and then puts it into here. Then you can copy that into your posting as well, as you can see here. And then what I can do is I can even get the AI to rewrite this posting up here and it'll generate a summary of the video based on the 
the, the, the transcript of the video. So there's like three major functions that all go in and tie together here. So we're waiting on it to rewrite. As you can see, it's loading. That's what that button down there is loading there. And you can see it's now summarized the video. The search feature is now operational. A query from Barry, Ontario to Dallas, Texas with a thousand mile radius successfully returns 63 items. To confirm the filter is working as expected, reducing the radius to 150 miles for the same query can correctly narrow the results to 43 items and post. And there he goes. And the video. So here you go, buddy. Finally got it working. You can see in the video, very so Ontario to Dallas, Texas. Right there. So yeah, that's that's how that works. And then it also does that for YouTube videos. So this guy right here, I can just do another YouTube video for you. Um, I think I have one actually already ready to go. Um, where? Okay, let's do this here again. Uh, where we want to go? Subscription software. And let's look for a shorter video. Kimmy, hey everyone, everyone welcome back. back. Okay, so let's try this guy right here. Copy, and then we got to go back to Chrome, and we're gonna start a post here. Okay, so one of the things about posting is that you need to embed, be able to embed, and you should embed with the title of the post or title of the page at least. And with with an image link as well, it would be nice to have a thumbnail. Now, what I got here also is you got I got a transcriber that can transcribe YouTube videos as well. So this one takes a little longer, um, so you may have to fast forward the video. But I I wanted to you know show you that this is actually working, and that it will transcribe the video. And I can actually go back and review. Um, the first words of the video. The hey everyone, video. welcome back to another new exciting video. Hey everyone, welcome back to a new and exciting video. That's what he says at the beginning. And let's see what he says. In new chat, they, they have published uh, or added this new option in chat GPT. So please watch this video also. So see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe this channel. Like and subscribe. Hey everyone, like and subscribe. Okay, so let's see what he says here. So the transcription, you want to come back to another exciting video, finally Kimmy K2, looks about right, and like and subscribe to this channel, there we go. So that comes over here, and then you can rewrite again with AI. So that's how that feature works. Now there's another, there's, so there's a microphone feature in the post, as you can see here, you can write into the post and use a microphone which is nice because if you don't want to type you can you can talk so this is I believe is the future here of the, the the social media and there he goes so there he goes Kim K2 has been updated to version 0 0.05 introducing significant enhancements to its coding blah 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 so there he goes so it's actually 0905 but anyways that's uh, AI for you for now and uh, I just did a video transcription and I did a, a YouTube transcription. So it's working on both ends. Uh, you got a task, you can add tasks here, you can add events as well with URLs. You can add a poll if you want to add a poll um, to you get votes and so on. You can add a project as well um, if you're working on a project. You can get advice. Um, ask for it at least or demo a tool with a YouTube link or uh, if you want to add your own video or whatever um, add some research you can add files for that uh, what else can you do you can add a team if you want to create a team you can integrate as well uh, your your projects with it I'll show that shortly here um, add a hackathon event if you want and also add tools and select the category of tools and uh, I'm still updating this website as we speak and then there's your video again. So you can do images and video as well. Uh, so that's pretty much all the functions and all of those functions are pretty much on the left hand side. Um, I guess I can just demo the network. So your pending connections are here. You can add a friend, move a friend, go to their profile. 
you can see it here, accept or decline, and you've got all their details about their uh, about the profile. And you can see other profiles here, their GitHub links. So this is the plan is to basically create a network for you to find people that are specialized and what they're specialized in in, in, in software. And uh, once you got your network there, you can you know talk to anybody about certain issues or problems that you're having and so on. And then there's also you got your your messages here, uh, all your chats and so on that you've had with other people, and a list of people in the chat as well. And you also have a microphone as well so that you can talk into the chat box and send a message, and it just goes off like that. So that is the chat feature, and you know it's Priya Patel, so you, sh you can go to their uh, profile, log in, and uh, you know check it out as well. I can even do that here with Jason. I've been testing with, and it's working. Uh, then you got your notifications as well from all the users, and. Uh, you can view your own profile here, sign out, and here's your own profile and so on. Yeah, so, and then you can explore and search. So let's say you wanna search a user, you can search up Sarah Johnson, and uh, you can, yeah, send messages, follow them. We've sent a request to them so far, they haven't answered. Um, what else can I tell you here? Uh, so yeah that's, that's under the explore and the, and the Sarah here appears as well so you got both searches working uh, notifications messages tasks this is your task list of things to do and uh, you can add your tasks and so on here as well so that's the same as a button up here and then generally the speaking that's the same concept Add team is also up there as well. It's right here. So this is the same kind of button. Create your own team. You can view your teams. You can join them. If you got a team, you've got a team chat as well. There's a couple people in there and they posted. Uh, you can leave the team. You can view the details of the team, who's part of it, what projects you guys are working on. As you can see here, you can open them up. Uh, you can leave the team. There's all sorts of uh, features here, right? And you can integrate with the team as well. So your projects are listed here, so you can integrate these projects into your teams as well. And uh, yeah, so then you got your links here, you got your research, you can integrate your research into your projects. And uh, you know, you got your status, you got your chats as well for uh, your projects, how many members you got part of it your settings and whether it's public or private and so on and uh, you know you get your members manage project and so on so there's a lot of stuff here like it's and so all these postings or whatever there like they're it's still in beta like obviously we're still integrating but we got like quite a bit of the uh, the database already pretty much done and uh, it's already working with most of this stuff already there's events um, as you can see here, it's very similar where you can view them. You can add it to Google Calendar. And uh, you can also uh, add it to Outlook as well. It's integrated with Outlook. And uh, you've got your dates, times, and so on. You can leave the event. And um, join another one if you see one that you want any upcoming past or my events and so on there you can see the list and sort and so on there uh, your hackathons are left listed here and it's the same concept you can view them you can share the hackathon join a hackathon where it is how much money it is and so on your tools are listed here and you got your add tool button just like you had at the top your research as well is listed here yeah, so it's pretty much like, uh, uh, you know, it's pretty uniform. Uh, I've, I've been working on this for eight days now or so, and uh, this is how far I've got in terms of the front end. 
In terms of the back end now, I can show you that it's Postgres SQL, and uh, most of the back end, like I would say, like the tables are done. Bookmarks, connection notes, connection requests, conversations, uh, developer follows, developer posts, developer projects, users, event attendees, events, hackathons. Uh, if you have home content post comments, content post reactions, link metadata cache, notifications, project invitations, project messages, projects. This is where it's going to get a little bit bigger. Uh, projects, research. Uh, I got software companies listed as well in the in, in the front end teams, tool votes, tools, user connection, user event messages, and that that doesn't include the client portal as well. We got code integrations and so on with AI over there and the AI chat at the front. So that just shows you that we got uh, quite a, quite a bit of a data, you know uh, a system working right now and. Um, it's it's working good and so on there and you can repost stuff as well if you want to see the repost and so on you can okay. see it's still working and you can see it's in a bubble so yeah this is this has all been done over eight days so just to give you a heads up there that's uh where we're at and um uh, i think that we're on track to be done with within less than 30 days and uh, I think that the the thing is going to look way different than what it does right now, <laughs> but it's on it's on track. Actually, there I think it's already on track to being better uh, than most other uh, uh, places. Like that, you know, you can compare to um, when you look at messaging other users and so on. There, I uh, I would say that you're 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 way better off. With, or but the the design is looking way better than a lot of the other. Um, like meetup.com's look or whatever there if you're trying to message other users it looks very plain plain Jane doesn't look like it's fully you know and uh, we're we're doing I think pretty good considering and uh, you know I like this idea at the top a lot of a lot of them are, are you know have these start a post features at the top and I was like you know what maybe a new innovative idea is just to create a task bar at the top instead and um, you know have all the little buttons there so you know that's that's how I look at it right now there I'm pretty happy with it and uh, yeah there, there, there there's a lot here um, there's a list of software companies in, in, the, in the tech industry here for anyone there's 5,000 companies um, to look at and call if you wanted to and so on so I hope you like my uh, demo. I think I'm pretty much uh, done sharing. And like I said, there's another portal over here. You you know you could go and get a quote with AI and and type in an answer here. You know what what type of project you want to do, and so on. And then it asks you like what web custom software. You know, and then you know you can go back to your answers, edit them if you want. You know, there's there's so many things, and it can create a quote for you. So, yeah, there's a, there's a lot here for this whole website, <laughs> and that's 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 as fast as I can go. So I apologize here, guys, if it wasn't fast enough there, but or you know I didn't I went too fast. I mean, but um, you know it's just you know. Um, uh, trying to get this done as quickly as possible there. I don't think it it uh, is easy to do. I like to do five minute videos, but you know, I mean this one it's pretty hard to do in five minutes. But uh, I thought I'd demo it all, share it, and uh, hopefully you like it. And uh, when we get this operational within the month, uh, that you guys get on board and you know hopefully we can yeah, you know work together on a bunch of projects and educate ourselves and hopefully you know we got high hopes for the future yeah. so uh, I'll let you guys go and I hope you like my project talk to you later Bye.